paintings were a form of primarily secular art, which both implied and sought to understand with deeper meaning a hierarchical system and classification of the many races which existed in Latin America in the 1700s. These paintings were most popular in Mexico, however could be found in other parts of Latin America as well, and were popular from 1700 till 1821. Casta paintings were, and continue to be, a difficult concept to grasp as they pertain to race relations. The depiction of racial mixing was a staple of Casa paintings, which could be seen as a positive, normalizing action that was in innovatable in the Americas. However, there is a clear hierarchy present in the artwork, wherein a darker skin pigment would always land at the bottom of a metaphorical pyramid. Casa paintings were an outlet for the Spanish, both residing in Latin America and in Spain, to confront their anxieties about the essential loss of whiteness that was occurring among Spanish bloodlines in the Americas, and also to show the Spaniards that people of color were capable of being engaged as active members of society. Finally, as our idol John Beasley Murray said in a lecture video, Casa paintings marked the continued crisis of representation in Latin America which asked, what kind of people are we, who are we, and what home should we give ourselves? as Latin America has turned to a mixture of biological, social, and cultural means to better understand identity. While you guys go learn more about Casa paintings, I'll be right back. I'm just going to grab a cup of tea. Casta's paintings in the 18th century marked a clashing of science and arts. During this period, with concepts of what's modernly recognized as scientific racism developing, artists such as Ignacio Maria Burita or Luis de Mena capitalized on it to make massive profits until the beginning of the 18th century. These artists, many from Mexico and modern-day Texas, were typically Enlightenment thinkers and became captivated in the aesthetic of racial classification, particularly in the way these outcomes or so-called consequences of racial mixings could be portrayed. These ideals could be upheld within the frames by presenting the families along with a variation of setting, clothing, or diet. Violence was also a common thread through many of these paintings and is associated with racial mixing of lower social racial classes. This portrayal was an attempt to further classify lower social racial groups as more animalistic and reinforce ideas of Eurocentrism to emphasize the need for the racial purity and hierarchy. Themes of violence are continued through many Casas paintings and violent women or violence against women is particularly relevant in the portrayal of families in lower social racial classes. The role of women in the household of each racial classification was aesthetically portrayed through the overt or subtle mannerisms developed in each frame. Portraying the mother in a subservient role or in the background of the image might reinforce ideals of specific racial and gendered norms amongst women of specific racial status. However, this goes both ways. Amongst the upper class, women who were Spanish or presented paler were oftentimes depicted in luxuriously embroidered gowns. Women's status was also tied to that of, her male, of the male of the family, whether that be her husband, brother, or father. Women's status in these paintings never surpassed that of the man's. Translated into English, casta means caste. It was a hierarchical system of race classification created by Spanish elites in the 17th and 18th century in Hispanic America during the colonial period. During this time, Spaniards developed a very complex caste system based on race, which was used for social control and determined a person's importance in society. Since the 16th century, Spaniards had rearranged their own social scheme onto their colonies in the New World. Examples of this were shown with the state of the church and the ideology of limpieza de sangre, which in English means purity of blood. The limpieza de sangre referred to people who were considered pure old Christians, meaning without Muslim or Jewish ancestors, or those without ancestry from the indigenous peoples of the Americas, Asia, or Africa. The paintings showed the placement of clean blood through its sets. Casta paintings were usually created in sets of 16, with each scene compromised of a man and woman of differing races along with their mixed children. The paintings always began with the Spaniard, which was the purest blood, and ending with someone of black African descent, which were believed to have uncleanly blood and also fell at the bottom of the hierarchy. The main categories of race were broken down into four specific groups. Peninsular, a Spaniard born in Spain, Criollo or Criola, a person of Spanish descendant born in the New World. Indio or India, a person who is descendant of the original inhabitants of the Americas. And 
Lastly, negro or negra, a person of black African descent, typically a slave or their free descendants. Though we certainly can't observe any 16 paneled cast of paintings in today's society, it is hard to say how far media has progressed in terms of racial classification. Though progress has and is continuing to be made, we can observe racial hierarchies in TV shows, movies, and advertisements even today. A 1987 TV show titled I Married Dora tells the story of a white man who married his Latina maid to save her from being deported. Similarly, darker women in Latin American telenovelas are most often cast as maids or domestic workers than as protagonists or leads with Mi Gorda Be Bella being an example. Racial hierarchies can even be seen in the syrup we buy. The face of Aunt Jemima syrup is a mammy archetype dating back to the era of slavery. Though these staples of present day media are not promising in terms of social progression, it should be noted that racial mixing is now widely accepted and those who look down upon mixed race families are in the minority, with Instagram portraiture possibly serving as a modern day equivalent to the cast of paintings. One of the most important lessons to note from our exploration of Casta paintings is that we should continue to analyze the extent to which modern day racial hierarchies exist and how far or little we have come since their inception.